There is a lot to get into in this, but before we do, please support the other channel, Examining Kubrick, as well as consider supporting the channel through various means, including Patreon. Alright, with that out of the way, let us proceed to the main subject, which is pretty stunning. Now, Paramount has been dealing with many, many issues. I'm going to focus on the anti-Scientology angle, but there's a lot here. Obviously, the main attraction is Tom Cruise. Does this really hurt Tom Cruise in a strong way? No, but it does signal a big end to his career in a certain sense, because before, and this has been a big problem with Paramount and the Mission Impossible series, which technically they control for a long time. In fact, only a couple of years ago, they were seriously considering replacing Tom Cruise. Why? Unfortunately, it's not due to Scientology. It's just the fact that paying him X amount of money was getting too much. Again, Tom is not technically an actor in his movies. He's a producer. He makes these movies, so he probably doesn't get too much of a salary. But at the end of the day, in terms of profits, they have to keep giving him back too much of their own money, so it just became too much. And this signals that Paramount just does not have the resources. They just don't have the capital anymore to sustain themselves, so they're willing to consider being bought out. Again, this is a rumor, but it does suggest that Paramount as a studio is in very, very dire straits. If you are a skeptic or hostile critic of Tom Cruise's films and his movies, as well as his connection to Scientology, this is overall good news. I would find it almost, no pun intended, impossible for Paramount to continue the relationship. It just is financially not feasible. The last Mission Impossible film did very poorly at the box office. It just did not do very well, and they spent tons, I mean tons of money on that film. So I'm not going to do my full review here, but briefly, I do think it was a decent film overall, but it really showed a huge decline in the franchise. I don't like using the word franchise, but I will use it here because this is a financial discussion, and this is how business people think about these things. These are IPs, these are franchises, these are not films, these are not mythologies, they just want access presumably to the film library. Again, what this company is asking for isn't even all Paramount. They don't even care about South Park. They're leaving out many channels, including Nickelodeon. They don't care about that stuff. They want main access to the film library, which is good and bad news. On the one hand, the good news is they might do a better job than the current management, or the downside, which is very likely, is they're just going to buy off all these films, all these IPs, and then resell them, which would be a nightmare for many fandoms. Now, I'm not a big fan of how Mission Impossible or Scream has been handled recently. However, if you are a fan of those, quote, franchises, end quote, this could create a lot of problems and headaches. There's a much bigger discussion to be had. But in terms of the short term, yeah, they just can't afford Tom Cruise. And it's not just an issue of paying Tom Cruise and, quote, supporting Scientology. It's also censoring things. Again, it's a fact that in the media celebrities and again when you do interviews as well as spotlights hollywood stars can demand that questions are limited to a certain extent and again overall i don't have an issue with that if the questions are too personal or dealing with personal issues like divorces whatever relationships i think stars and actors and directors to some extent can say that's not proper that doesn't have anything to do with the film please don't ask that so on and so forth but tom has made it a policy you can't ask him about scientology you just can't if you do you're going to get exiled. You are barred from talking to him. I don't like that. I think that's wrong. Again, it's a very intimate issue because his family is in Scientology. It is technically his religion. Usually that should be a private area as well. However, Scientology does many nefarious things, so I don't think it is illegitimate to ask questions there. It is an exception to the rule, but I think we can make it. So overall, this is good news for the anti-Scientology side. In fact, when you think about it, the anti-Scientology side, if it raises enough money, can now buy a part of Paramount and use it for its own cause, right? They can create their own documentaries, their own films, if they buy an IP. That's not a dream. Like, Lily and Aaron, if they want to, could raise money, pay for a part of Paramount, and use it against Scientology. So it does show that the grip that Tom Cruise and Scientology has had, kind of this monopoly, is coming to a close. However, is the next phase this democratic, new, good media... Not necessarily. It could be a new nightmare. However, in the short term, the fact that Paramount cannot afford Tom Cruise, they're literally stating, can't afford Tom Cruise, we can't even afford to pay our own employees, they've let go a lot of people, shows that things have really changed. Are they changing for the better? In the short term, yes, but there are many, many problems ahead.